Welcome to Hawk Talks, the YouTube show about all things digital advertising and startups. I'm your host, Dan Pratt. I'm also your host, Todd Saunders. Two hosts. So we started Ad Hoc about three years ago, and one of the most frequently asked questions that we get from other entrepreneurs or people wanting to become entrepreneurs is uh, about tech stars. For those of you that don't know, Techstars is one of the world's um, largest and best startup accelerators. Uh, started in Boulder, Colorado in 2009. We were fortunate enough uh, to be admitted to that uh, Boulder program in 2015. Um, so we decided to make a little bit of a video here. Question number one, why did we join Techstars? So the reason we chose Techstars over possibly some of the other accelerators was because Techstars has these very small cohorts. We've seen 500 startups, Y Combinator, a couple of the other um, accelerators go into bigger and bigger cohorts. And we wanted kind of that smaller classroom size, uh, smaller teams. We wanted to have deeper relationships with a smaller amount of people. I totally see the value of having not as deep relationships with you know, an exponentially larger amount of people. But for us, we we're first time founders. We wanted to really, really dig into the network. We wanted to be hands on. And we felt like Techstars was not just the best opportunity to do that, but the best opportunity for us to you know, grow as a company and just grow as people. As first time founders, it provided us with a tremendous amount of structure. Um, we were able to be introduced to a bunch of other um, startup founders, mentors that had done what we were trying to do in the past. And it provided us with more guidance as we entered this crazy world for the first time. Um, the second, in my opinion, is the community. Uh, there are so many Techstars graduates um, that have gone through the program, that have gone on to start some amazing companies, and the wealth of experience that you can uh, glean from those folks and the people that work inside of Techstars, for, for us has been invaluable, right? It's just uh, learning from people that have been there and have done that. Uh, so the second question we get a lot is, is what is the program like? Um, I would say it's very mentor driven. Uh, you go into Techstars and you really get, you get what you put into it, right? You can go into Techstars, you could coast, you could not go to any of the mentor meetings, you could not participate in a lot of the round tables, and you might not get that much out of it, to be honest. But if you go there, you're committed to learning, um, you wanna get better in your day to day, and you wanna learn from people that have done it before, you have the ability to do that within the Techstars organization. Okay, third question we get asked a lot about Techstars is what did ad hoc as a company look like when we first joined? Um, a lot different than it does right now. Uh, we were two people when we joined Techstars. It was just Todd and myself. We were two business co-founders. We didn't have any engineers. We didn't have a product. We had this crazy idea um, and we actually incorporated the business on the drive from San Francisco to Boulder. It's kind of a crazy time. You don't need a super polished product or team um, at the very beginning. Uh, what Techstars is looking for as they bring in new companies for each batch is uh, they're looking for a, a, a decent idea, you understanding the market, uh, but more important than that, they're looking for a founder group that has the ability to execute. Yeah, at the end of the day, they could invest in you and tomorrow you could change the business completely. So they're really looking for people. I think a question we got asked a lot was why, why you, right? Why? Why are you able to pull this off? I think Techstars has heard of every idea, unless you're Elon Musk and you're sending Teslas to outer space. They've heard of almost everything, maybe not the variation you're talking about. And the big question that they like to ask and challenge you on is like, why are you uniquely positioned to, to pull this off? And for us, it was simple, right? We were trying to replace our own jobs at Google and who is better off to you know build a software that helps people you know, with their digital advertising than people that were at Google um, and doing that ourselves. And I would say if they look for five things, it would be team, 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 idea, traction. So let, let's talk now about the application process. I think that's kind of the next step in the journey of, you know, the questions we get asked. Uh, the application process is, is tough, right? They get tens of thousands of applications uh, for every single program. Uh, for us, we try to stand out as much as possible, right? We wanted to not be the normal application. We spent extra time on our video. Um, we also, you know, try to get as many referrals as possible. The Techstars community takes referrals very seriously. Uh, so we reached out to our network, uh, found people that were willing to vouch for us. And during, that, during the whole process, 
we had you know mentors even helping us through that process and that showed i think the tech stars mds and the people that were viewing our application like these guys are hustlers number one and number two they're resourceful um, but the application generally it's a written application um, after that there's kind of an initial phone screen that's kind of like a gut check um, we then were invited to do a final round interview um, that interview is generally in person. Uh, we, we did that one over video just um, because we were broke. We walked out of there thinking we did terribly. Um, but then you kind of look back and realize that they were probably grilling everybody and everybody feels like they did pretty terribly. Um, but, you know, we safely got in and that was super exciting. Well, let's talk about Demo Day. I think a lot of people join Techstars and these accelerators to get to Demo Day. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Demo Day, it's your time to show off all your hard work, right? You go on stage, you talk in front of, you know, hundreds or thousands of investors, friends and family that haven't talked to you for months because you've been working so hard. And it's your chance to say, hey world, like this is what we're doing. We're super excited about it. Um, one thing that we, you know, were diligent about leading up to demo day was um, keeping investors updated on what we were doing, keeping mentors updated on what we were doing. I think Mark uh, Schuster has a, a blog post that's uh, show lines, not dots. And basically what he means by that is investors want to see, you know, how you've progressed week over week. We came into Techstars with the least amount of traction, the least amount of revenue, the least amount of engineers, but we left there as one of the first companies to close our seed round. And the reason we were able to pull that off was because every week we would show investors you know, growth with the money we were managing, growth with our wait list of customers that were signing up on our website, and although that wasn't like, you know, we weren't breaking the bank, we weren't making, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, what they were able to see was this growth trajectory of we picked a KPI, we grew that KPI month over month, we did that with no money. And now we kind of looked up to these investors to say, listen, you've seen us grow. Imagine if you gave us money, what we could do. And I think a mistake that some companies make is they go to Techstars, they go to Y Combinator and they get to demo day and they're like, hey, I'm here. Here's what we're doing. Where's give us the money. money. Give us money. And the investors say, that's great. You're here. This is the first dot. Show me 10 more dots so I can see if the line looks like this. So although our, our dot wasn't you know, revenue focused and wasn't money driven, we, we stuck to them and we grew the KPI that we thought was most important to us. And because we had been updating investors week over week since day one, um, you know, it made demo day relatively an easy process for us to, to raise capital. I think about five weeks after demo day, we actually closed our, our seed round of funding. You know, during Techstars, you're meeting people that could be lifelong friends or, you know, could be people that could be really helpful for you in the future. So don't forget that the people around you are no, you think of them as a part of your company. I can tell you today, we reach out to other Techstars companies in our batch and we get advice on hey, how did you handle HR? Or how did you handle this scaling? Or how did you handle lawyers? Or do you have any recommendations on uh, good software for quarterly reviews? Uh, so they're kind of like your, your support group. Uh, what surprised you the most about the three months? How fast they went by. <laughs> I mean, it, it's interesting. I, I wish I could do Techstars again now. I, I'd love to see how much differently I would approach it now than what I did then. I, I also think too, like when we, when we went through the program, I think at our peak, our company size never went above five people. And so with a team as small as we were and as a product as early as ours was at that time, a lot of the stuff that we were doing on a day-to-day -day basis, the, the, the talks that we went to and the presentations um, that we had to give and, and the, um, the exercises that they made us do, I felt were valuable in that moment. But when we hit like 10, 15 people, in my opinion, like I was going back to those conversations and redoing it with a different lens, a different perspective. We also wouldn't have been there without the help of, you know, the RMDs. Um, we wouldn't be there without the help of Zach, Natty, Julie, all of them were crucial to our success. Um, and, you know, we continue to rely on them even now, asking them questions about you know, how we should be approaching problems that they've seen before. So we, when applying to Techstars, we had a bunch of different options. Dan was from Boston. We could, you know, we were thinking about applying to Techstars Boston. There's obviously New York where we're based now. We could have thought about applying to, to Techstars New York. But really what we wanted to do is we wanted to build a network outside of our current network. 
we said, okay, we, we each have a network in New York and Boston. We had lived in San Francisco, working at Google. We have a network in San Francisco. Where is a new network that we can gain? And that's kind of why we decided to choose Boulder. Um, you know, when we went through the interview process, we really got along well uh, with the people there, number one. But number two, it was a whole new opportunity for us. I think it would have been redundant for us to come to New York or Boston and meet some of the same mentors we feel comfortable with. It was the best thing for the business and it was the best thing for our relationships moving forward. Yeah, and I think that Techstars as an organization has changed a lot since it was started, you know, uh, more than a decade ago. Um, <clears throat> there are lots of different programs across the country and across the world. Um, and there are also programs that are unique to very specific verticals. So there's a Disney accelerator, there's a FinTech accelerator, there's a Target retail accelerator. So as you're applying to some of these programs, keep that in mind. If you have a very niche product or uh, feel like you need a little bit more um, support within the vertical that you're in, make sure you do your research and learn what types of Techstars accelerators are out there and which ones are the best fit for you. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Hawk Talks. If you are interested in the Techstars program and have any questions about the application process, leave a comment below. We'd love to talk with you. I'm Todd Saunders. I'm Dan Pratt. Thanks for watching.